How much to take in? About 26 bucks. Hang on, Desmond. We'll do a cutlery count on those. Sure. From now on, every mealtime we'll do a count the same as Woodridge. Right. How are you fitting in at Wentworth? No, oh, it's a job, same as anywhere else. An officer can have it pretty easy in here if he keeps him with the right people. Oh, yeah? Yeah, between you and me, we're getting a bit tired of Ferguson. She can't play it straight anymore. How would you like to pick up a piece of her action? Now, you listen to me, Desmond. I play it straight. Right down the line, you got that? Yeah. There'll be no more rackets in Wentworth as long as I'm working here. And Ferguson already knows that. I don't think you made it clear enough. She's in the cell right now, ripping Warren off. Trying to keep the top dog between you and the freak, eh? Paid your mum a visit. She sends her love. Yeah, I know all about that. Especially what you did to my mum. So don't try leaning on me. Why shouldn't I? It was your stupid idea that had me facing a murder charge. You knew what you were getting into. You took the risk. Have you seen Deidre? You must have got me message to fix Warren. So how come you didn't? Because I don't take orders from you. Oh, you think you're real smart, don't you? Well, I've got news for you. You got me into this mess and I'm going to see you pay for it. You know, you've only got one problem, Lou. Your brain. And I've got this place sewn up. Yeah? Shacking up with Myra won't stop the freak from getting even. I've fixed that. She won't touch me. I've got Alison Francis in my pocket. And Myra and the girls. They think I've seen the error of my ways. Oh, so what? So, I can run drugs, booze, anything I like. As long as our precious top dog doesn't find out I'm behind it. Oh, fat chance. Murphy and the freak will be onto it for sure. They're too busy playing cat and mouse. So what's to stop me doing it? Who says I need you? I do. And you know I've got the money to set it up. What makes you think I'd trust you after what you did to me? You ripped off two grand of mine, Lou. I'd say that makes us dead square. You better make up your mind whether you're in or not. Or I might just decide to take my offer elsewhere. <laughs> We got here. I wasn't hiding it from you, Miss Ferguson. You better not be, Warren, because we've got a business arrangement. I don't like people holding out on me. I wouldn't do that, Miss Ferguson. It's very good, Warren, because you know what happens to people who cross me. What's going on here? Not my fault, Mr. Murphy. Miss Ferguson was making me run a book. That's rubbish, Warren. I caught you red-handed with this money. Now, you know the rules. You're on a charge. Forget it. I'll just take this to the governor. You won't get out of this one, Ferguson. Should have seen the looks the freak and Murphy were giving each other. They would have shriveled anybody human. How come he let you go? I don't know, but I couldn't get out of there fast enough. I really thought I was a goner. Hey, Warren, I still owe you. Remember? Lay off, Kelly. Did a good job, love. Thanks. Bloody ripper, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon it's pretty good too. <laughs> well, I'll say one thing for you. You've got a lot of guts. Let's hope the plan works so you can keep them. You owe me a dollar anyway. Probably had the freak there for a minute before she got me. All right, I'll take your word for it. Yeah, you'll be able to spend up real big in the pound. All right, so I'll get a day or two in solitary. Be worth it to get rid of the freak, though, wouldn't it? Yeah, as long as she doesn't weasel out of it, as usual. Well, how can she if Murphy's got it over? One down and one to go. The trouble is, Murphy's not going to be so easy to fix. Well, likes to rough people up a bit. Couldn't we get him on assault charge? Yeah, in decent assault, maybe. You lot have done it, and I thought if you think you got rid of Ferguson. When it comes to conniving, she's got tricks no one's even heard of yet. Yeah, but Murphy saw her with the money in her hand. She can't beat that, can she? Yep, even the free could find that hard. Don't bet on it. She started working on dumping Murphy as soon as he got here. Oh, yeah, how do you know? But she tried to ring me in, didn't she? Wanted me to do her dirty work for her. But I told her to shove it. If 
funny. Thought you'd do anything to get back in Ferguson's good books. I don't need her. I never did. And besides, Murphy might have been boss cocky round Woodridge. But that's not here, is it? You might be right. For once. Put your money where your mouth is, Warren. I'll put everything I've got on Ferguson to come up smelling like roses. You'll have more than me after you then, won't you? And I'll make a bet with you, Kelly. You lay one finger on my leg, and I'll bet that you end up with a few broken bones. Are you quite certain Miss Ferguson was dealing with Warren? Yes, Governor. I heard Officer Ferguson say she had a business arrangement with Warren and expected a cut. You couldn't have misinterpreted? Oh, no. Look, I'm sorry, Mrs Reynolds. I don't like to report a fellow officer, but I can't ignore corruption. I wouldn't expect you to, Mr Murphy. Come in, Miss Ferguson. I want you to repeat what you told me a few minutes ago. Certainly, Governor. I left the dining room after the lunch period and went to patrol the corridors. It was then that I saw Officer Murphy with the prisoner Warren. Now, just a minute. Let Miss Ferguson finish, please. At first, they didn't see me approach. Warren was handing money over to Officer Murphy. He then said, in future, make sure it's on time. It was apparent to me that he was receiving commission for some sort of illicit business transaction. You bloody liar. Mr Murphy. Warren saw me then and ran off down the corridor. I was concerned with getting the evidence from Officer Murphy. Why didn't you? Oh, Officer Murphy became quite physical, Governor. He pushed me against the wall and said that if I didn't forget what I'd seen, he'd hand the money over to you and I would get the blame for it. That's a pack of lies to save her own skin. My record's clean. There's never been any suggestion of corruption. So where do we go from here, Governor? I'm going to question Warren. Yeah, as well as my belief that the other women have put her up to this to get rid of two officers. I'll be the judge of that. Now, do either of you have any objection to my questioning Warren? Not me, Governor. Heads I win, tails you lose, eh, Warren? I don't see no future for Marlene the deal. If the freak don't get her, Big Murphy will. Ignore her, Rabbit, she's all mouth. Yeah, but the freaking Murphy won't be. Oh, drop dead, Lou. Was all this excitement? No way. I learned one thing from Warren, though. Got to keep sweet with Murphy and Ferguson. That way I got to be on the winning team. Put a plug in at Kelly or I'll do it for you. Oh, is the big tough top dog going to give me a thumping? Shut your trap or I'll do it for you. Screw it. Warren, you want to buy the governor? Come on, move it. Break a leg, Warren. Lay off, Kelly. How do you reckon she'll go, Myra? <sighs> she'll be OK. Reno's always been fair. Well, Lou's right about one thing. It's not the governor that Marlene has to be frightened of. Warren's here, Governor. Bring her in, please. Warren? Could you wait outside, please, Miss Brown? Come here. Just look at me, Warren. I'm sure you know what this is all about, so I just want you to tell me the truth. Truth? 